it's been pretty refreshing to have a game to pop onto that felt like a true classic arcade shooter through and through, even if it's only just in beta and there's still plenty of work to do for the future, but for the limited window that we've had it, X Defiant has proved to be a fun, fast-paced gameplay experience that truthfully, I think it's tackled just about everything that it has so far this past week almost flawlessly. That's not to say the game itself isn't flawless, but the approach and presentation of so many aspects of the game has been handled, I think, incredibly well in my opinion. So today, we're running down some of what's happened since our last chat about X Defiant a few days ago and some key takeaways from the overall beta experience. As we go along, drop your thoughts down below. What do you think of X Defiant? Have you gotten into the beta and played it? Will you be trying it out before it wraps up here soon? What are the case? Drop your thoughts down below. But if you enjoyed the video, you'll find it at all insightful. Do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay today with all things Modern Warfare 2 and FBS content. We've got a lot of stuff upcoming. I think you guys will enjoy. So if you'd like to join the community, I'd love to have you. And finally, check out my friends over at G Fuel, where Code Espresso can get you 20% off your order at all times, but 30% off of certain items like the tubs of hype sauce and star fruit for the month of April, but more on them a little later. For now, let's take a look at some X Defiant. So first and foremost, one thing that's definitely noteworthy and that I think you guys should know about is that the beta itself was extended, whether for additional play time or to make up for time that may have been lost because of server issues, instability, and other stuff like that from the very beginning. Whatever the case may be, the official X Defiant account went ahead and announced, we've heard the requests and are extending the closed beta for an additional 48 hours. The closed beta will now end on Tuesday, April 25th at 11 p.m. Pacific time. Be sure to get those extra matches in and let us know your feedback. So right off the bat, absolutely love that. Give more play time to the player, allowing them more opportunity to test your game out, to give that feedback and to just overall just experience the game communally, sharing those experiences with the community you're trying to build up. And again, we don't know if that's something that is based off of the server instability, the problems that were present day one, two, three, four, whenever, or if it's just something that they wanted to go ahead and it was planned from the very beginning to be extended all the time. That's something we don't quite know. The only thing that I wish they would kind of extend upon this is making it a little bit easier for registration, if not making it open for like the last day or so here. If you really want to get the most test out of it, yes, there may be some server stress, but I think that for whenever you end up launching to free to play to begin with, having that idea of what kind of player base you'll end up seeing an influx in player count might actually be pretty helpful. But I mean, that's not something that's in the cards right now, but you can end up jumping in. You can still end up registering for it right now and getting in on the action on whatever platform you want to be on. But as of the last discussion that we had here, they've added quite a bit in regards to stuff that's pretty cool, if you ask me. Ranked was added for a day or two here in an alpha state that, yes, it was still very early on. It was just the basic building blocks of the rank system they want to build out, but it was a ranked play in a beta. For my COD fans, the last time that we saw a ranked mode even launch with the game was Black Ops 3 in 2015. So to have something in the alpha state is pretty cool to see that there's the design approach and design intent to have that there for not only just launch, but they're thinking about it to the point where they want hands-on testing where the players can play it right now in the closed beta. We also saw a mode of Hot Shot where they're introducing more stuff on top of just the game modes they have on offer right now, where that again was live for about a day or two, but it was kind of a King of the Hill type mode, but mixed in with TDM, Kill Confirmed, and maybe even you could say a mix of Cranked as well, if you're looking for Call of Duty comparisons, because it is something that did have a regular score limit, but it dropped tokens that you had to collect, and the more that you had on your person, the more that you collected, you'd end up getting these markers that you'd be the hot shot. If you were, you ended up having better mobility attributes, so again, where that kind of Cranked mentality comes in alongside this, but again, a cool little mode that they were experimenting with, playing around with, it was just thrown in for the beta for players to experience. We saw Progression re-enabled, which was while kind of weird, it was nice to showcase not only just all the guns available because ranking and progression was busted earlier on, but to now see that progression system and how we'll see a sort of relative understanding of how fast the progression is, where that progression unlocks certain items and all things considered. While it was weird to go back and forth between that, it is something that they're testing now, kind of a little bit of everything, giving you the opportunity earlier to have the ability to play with everything or versus now having the ability to actually rank up and see how the progression itself works. And since our last chat, there's been plenty of different fixes made. We have classes now saving properly, again, progression working properly. I will say netcode and server fixes, while they have adjusted and added more to this, where they've made some beneficial changes, there definitely still needs to be work done. I'm still dying around corners plenty of times, still having what I feel like not necessarily the best registry, but I mean, that's again, it's a beta and it's something that they acknowledge. It's not going to be perfect within this, but they can tweak it to make it a little bit better for the experience now, but come full 
full launch, that's when we'll see the bigger adjustments to that netcode and server fixes. But again, that's on top of already we've mentioned in our initial review a couple of days ago. So there's been plenty done here within the beta that the biggest thing to me out of all of it is that there was actually communication that never stopped. And that's something that is incredibly refreshing to me because yes, there have been plenty of issues, but you have people like Mark Rubin, the executive producer on the game and at Ubisoft, taking to Twitter to personally reply to just about every single tweet that I've seen come his way, talking about either game design, intent, developmental background, future plans, anything that you could think of, he's touching on it. It's really refreshing to see this level of communication and one-to-one -one nature of just the conversational approach to the game development and how we can end up seeing things handled not only just at the launch of this beta and where we are in this beta state but also going further for those future plans i mean one thing that was incredibly frustrating i'm sure for players was that we saw that creative classes and loadouts were not saving that was something that even though they had some fixes going back and forth it never really quite got the job done until a couple of days ago but during that time mark rubin even said hey listen like we can do this very easily with a patch but we're going to try and make it so that we can refrain from having people have to download stuff and just it's a server side thing at that point which yes it took a little bit more time but it was something that saved the player a little bit more time as a result so a trade-off there of one-to-one -one, however you see that subjectively but the communication was what was beautiful because to an average player seeing that a fix has gone out but it didn't actually fix it <clears throat> might be looking at you, Call of Duty. It's incredibly frustrating to see that kind of stuff happen, but to have a developer comment on why that's happening and how a fix is indeed coming, that's just, again, reassuring to the player itself. And that's just like the tip of the iceberg with all this kind of stuff. Coming back to it, like I said, he and a lot of the other developers on this have been talking nonstop here on social media about this. There's so much communication that even I'm having a hard time keeping up with it. And that's one of the craziest things imaginable to me, because like, I mean, my job is to be in tune with with FPS games now at this point, transitioning out of just Call of Duty. So for me to not be able to keep up with some of it, that just shows that sheer level of how much is being communicated. And I, I love that. And that to me is probably the biggest thing that I think X Defiant and Ubisoft has done insanely well with this beta. Yes, again, it might not be the best game out there. It might not be the COD killer that so many people want it to be. There are plenty of things that I would still love to see changed, but just the fact of having that communication and having this step-by-step -step discussion the entire way through the beta has been incredibly refreshing to me. And for that, honestly, that's one of the biggest things I think this game has done incredibly well. So with that, that's what we're going to call it. Just wanted to fill you guys in a little bit more of the experience. If you guys have not been able to play X Defiant, try and jump in while you still have the opportunity to with this extended beta here. It's a lot of fun. I think you guys will enjoy it. Is it perfect? Absolutely not. But it's definitely refreshing to see a game with this level of upkeep in just a small closed beta state. So that said, that's what we're going to call it. Love your thoughts and feedback down below. What do you guys think of X Defiant if you guys have jumped in already? Or if you haven't, do you guys plan on doing so? Whatever the case, drop your thoughts below. Before we wrap everything up, make sure you check my friends over at G Fuel. Code Espresso get you 20% off everything normally, but again, things like Hype Sauce, Star Fruit, special items like that are 30% off for the month of April. Link down there in the description below if you guys would like to learn more. A cup of G Fuel is like my cup of coffee in the morning, so tons of flavors that I would recommend. Hype Sauce and Star Fruit, two of my personal favorites. Recommend those any day. So if you guys would like to check that out, use Code Espresso, link in the description below. But for now, that's what we're going to call it. Drop your thoughts below. If you enjoyed the video, found it out all insightful, do me a favor and drop a like on it. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to stay updated with all things Modern Warfare 2 and other FPS titles here upcoming. But for now, thanks so much for watching. Modest Espresso. I'll see you guys later. Take care and peace.